to one. Same meal all the time. Nutrition Solutions pancakes, first thing in the morning. This week we have s'mores. So we're going to fuel up for the workout today with BAM, which has um, never been done before. We have the live workout today, so this is exciting. I'm, I'm super pumped to try to do something that has never been done before. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in just, I think, maybe two meals before we head to the gym out in Rockville, Maryland. And what this whole thing is about is you're going to see, you already saw the, um, the uh, workout itself. These videos, you're going to see what we did, Byron and I both, before the workout. That'll be this video, the first video. Then the workout should still be up because we're going to stream it live and just leave it up for people to watch it. And then there'll be a video for what we do after to recover, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Nobody's ever filmed their whole day and plugged in a live YouTube workout video in the middle of it and showed you their whole day and the actual live workout and then actually invited people to work out with them. So this is gonna be, you know, I think it's gonna be cool. I mean, we'll see. Too crazy, you know. But this is this is really just like you know what I I really do pretty much every morning. If I'm not getting up and just going straight away to the gym and you know putting my hoodie on and um, go ahead and do some cardio, uh, 35 to 45 minutes. This is I mean I'll get up. I slept pretty good, so get my breakfast out of the way. And stuff like that, so. Try to get the, you know, at least make the first two meals. Um, when I'm off work, a day like today, you know, I, I'll just make a meal to meal. I don't really make the whole, the whole, uh, I eat seven fucking times a day, so I don't just get up and just make seven meals. And I'm not that guy that just, you know, I'll make uh, all my meals for every day. I mean, I just can't do it. And in fact, I don't even grocery shop like that. I grocery shop, you know, to last. Oh, shit. <sighs> grocery shop to last about three days at a time. So there you go. Basic stuff. I don't I don't have flavor guy or anything like that. You know this is just gonna be some sea salt and pepper. If you guys got a better recipe for Scrambling egg whites and, and eggs together, let me know. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm willing to try anything. Uh, show you what. My, clothes don't, my clothes don't fit. It's fucking crazy. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You know what's cool about this is like you're catching at this juncture you're probably already catching the, the workout and you're catching how we do in the morning you know leading up to that to that spot I don't think anything like this has ever been done before I mean Jerry has a ton of knowledge about the sport of bodybuilding and just you know working out and things like that in general you know um but he also has some great ideas. Uh, he's been doing, you know, really great with his YouTube channel for a while. Um, he's even helped me on a couple of my YouTube um, videos 
with workouts and things like that. So, um, his idea of formulating this video together um, is actually pretty cool, and um, I'm sure it's gonna turn out really well. Uh, Mind you guys, I'm half fucking sleep, so bear bear with me just a little bit. Ah, there we go. So back to it. I think what we'll do is move some things out the way. And I will put my but that's the finished product. So you got right there, six egg whites, two whole eggs, scramble. And heat up my heat up my oatmeal in a minute. And then what I'll do is I'll prep my second meal. And I usually don't tell people my meals and stuff like that. But since you're right here, what I'm gonna do, let's uh you know, lean ground beef, so I'll do eight ounces of ground beef, um uh, six ounces of yams, and one cup of uh, greens. That'll be my meal too. So that'll get me started for my day and we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, so eating, I'm going to take my prescription glutathione, which if you guys have been following me and keeping up, you know that I had blood work come back. Um, it was bad about a month ago. How bad? I don't think I ever said what it was, but liver enzymes were 500. Now, just so you guys know, 500 is like fucking off the charts. It's like you're seriously sick, sick at 500. And um, I'm about to boil it down to, narrow it down to the vandal sulfate, right? Stopped the vandal sulfate. Took the uh, glutathione. A month later, the doctor wasn't expecting this. He said, if we can get it down from like 500 to like 300 or 200, he's like, that would fucking be amazing. We just know then that there's nothing wrong with you. And that it's something you're ingesting. He's like, so there definitely would be something like the vandal. So they dropped from 500 to 65 in one month. That's how toxic that shit is. It, um, it was so toxic that had I not gotten the blood test and known what was going on, it could have actually permanently fucked me up. So I have a whole new view on um, some of these fucking companies that are out there. I trusted a lot of them, but... A lot of them I don't trust for shit now, so fuck them. So we're gonna eat, do our clients, get everything done we need to get done. What the fuck are they doing outside? They can't be cutting the grass. It's fucking this, it's November. It's probably the leaf blower things. But when you get our shit done, head up to the gym and get there for about one o'clock. You guys just work out on. All right, guys, check this out. So I'm here at uh, BMH Physical Therapy now. Um, this is what I've been doing for the past year. Um, if you guys follow last year, exactly to this day, November 15th, I um, tore my right distal bicep tendon restraining an inmate at work. I work uh, corrections in Virginia. And um, it was crazy. I mean, the night I came into the gym that night, it was just, I thought, I thought it was over. Actually, Jerry was there at the gym. So he saw, he, he saw my arm through my hoodie. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then my arm was drooping to the side of the bicep. It was crazy. But um, I had the surgery November 30th. Did all the doctor's protocols. It's been amazing. It's been a crazy journey, but it's been amazing how I've been able to recover and come back. Now, while I'm um, here strapped up, you know, when I first get here, they do the electro stem, here strapped up. Three weeks before this last show that I did, this Baltimore championship, I was uh, sitting at a red light. Guy, uh, you guys, I'm telling you, man, stop texting and driving because guys like myself or whatever were sitting still at red lights. All of a sudden, I'm getting knocked off the road um, by a driver who didn't pay attention. So, my sh left shoulder, goes into my steer into my steering wheel and the MRI reading says it's partially you know separated. So I'm 
just dealing with a lot. It's just fucking crazy. Uh, I'm going through this now, like I'm strapped up, you know, here. Electro still, arm jumping. Of course, it's on my neck, you know, getting hit from behind is not cool. My car's totaled, I've been going through that. I'm just going through a whole lot, man. This, this, this year, you know, end of 2016 and, 20, and, you know, all throughout 2017, it's just been nuts. So that's what we're doing right now. Doing this electro stem to start it off 15 20 minutes with the camera shaking because of all the stem. I have to switch arm to arm, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And um, so, we'll probably get some um, uh, shock wave or sometimes dry needling and things like that. But this is this is what I do three days a week. You know, trust me, I'd, mu I'd much rather have you know both my arms at 100%. Car sitting outside, <laughs> and then be going through this shit. One thing I can say about Jerry, man, he offered a good story. He's good friends with Jay Cutler. He told me a story of Jay Cutler tore his, you know, bicep. He assured me, like, you know, you know, this is welcome to bodybuilding. But you know, the cool, the, the cool part about it, I guess, is, uh, you know, the injury didn't happen in the gym. So as I was returning, uh, I wasn't afraid to really lift, you know, but very little. I was afraid a little bit, but not really. You know, I was more afraid of going back to work because <laughs> the injury happened at work. That jump right there. That's, um, so, you know, there's other guys that, you know, we all pay attention to and all follow and all look up to in bodybuilding. Jay Cutler is one of them. I mean, you know, I'm a, a good friends with uh, Mark Anthony. It was the first uh, uh, Miss Fizzy, Mr. Olympia. He also told me the same story. Blame Jay Cutler. His arms are huge, so you know he'll be fine. And you know people like that in my corner you know, that were able to offer uh, you know reassurance along with uh, close friends. You know, brought me back from the dead. And, you know, this is where we're at now. So, get some more of this stuff. We'll catch Dr. Joe. Maybe he's in a good mood today. <laughs> Look who we have here. We got Jessica doing ultrasound on my shoulder. You know what I have? Her. She's not looking to see if I'm having a kid or not in my shoulder. <laughs> Just a little ultrasound before the before the good doc comes in and tortures me a little bit. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm embarrassing everybody, including myself. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll start to get our supplement stacks ready. And what I like to do is get about that much water. Maybe about four ounces of water. In my uh, my water bottle here, and then in here I'm gonna drop two scoops of EA Max. So something I've been doing lately. So my kidney readings went back down to normal. My BUN readings and my creatinine levels they're in the normal range now, which they weren't in the bad blood test that I had. Now <clears throat> there isn't a whole lot of that was one scoop. Let's see, fucking. ADD moving quick this morning. There's not a lot of stuff saying that protein per se damages your kidneys, but the product waste of protein metabolism to get amino acids can cause problems with the kidneys, you know, long term. So I had this theory and I looked it up and there really wasn't a whole lot on it, but I talked to the gorilla chemist Brian and we're actually doing this experiment with um, amino acids. So what I did was cut some of my protein out of my diet and increase the amino acids themselves. Because amino acids, when they get in your blood, they're already broken down. And it's not as hard in the kidneys. Now, I know that people in the past have tried this, but I think what was happening was they were marketing it like this is a protein supplement or this is an amino acid that you could take instead of food. Like that's what they marketed as. And I'm like, what the fuck? I go back and try to revisit some of it. And um, really the owner of the company, um, Arthur, Ar uh, Arthur Alria, had kidney problems. He came out with a Humapro. So 
I think that I don't think that you should replace all of your protein in your diet with amino acids because I, I just don't think that's going to work. But if you're taking in 300 grams of protein and you can drop that to 225, it would be better on your kidneys and you increase the amino acids, you should still be able to maintain and gain muscle and not um, have to take in as much actual protein per se. So, you know, we'll see where that winds up, but you know, so far so good. Um, I cut some of the protein out of the diet. Kidney um, function went back to normal and I'm maintaining my muscle mass. So it, it really, it seemed to work out, so. Now I'm gonna take my uh, morning scoop. So I get these little cups here. I don't know if you can see it in my hand. Take one scoop of Neanderthal of that. So throw one scoop of Neanderthal per day in there, which is a health supplement, helps regulate hormones. And also probably the best on the market, hands down, the best supplement that you can take when you're done competing. When you're done with a show, and your body needs to be regulated again, it cuts that, cuts that time down drastically. I take my Intracell, this is pre-workout, so I'm gonna take this in a baggie. So one scoop of Intracell. course is going to be back in stock with the new formula soon and uh, one scoop of Gorilla Pumps which has this cute little container this cute little scoop <laughs> so that's my pre-workout then my post-workout is the two scoops of amino acids and then I do two scoops of amino acids before bed again which um, like I said you know so far this is working out pretty good so all right, and we are good to go to the gym and get our workout on. All right, so here we are. I'm not really like a scale watcher, guys, but this is where I'm pretty much sitting at right now. Um, I usually do check in, you know, um, scale weight wise. It's pretty good, not too bad. Scale weight wise, everything, um, every two weeks and whatnot. So last Wednesday was, uh, I'm sitting at right at 204. I'm a couple meals in right now today, so fat boy, you know, little whatever. But this is where we're sitting at right now. I want to keep a fairly lean off season, and this will make it easier to strike come next year. So I'm not doing nationals this year. Um, you'd have to assume that I'm probably gonna strike at some point pretty early next year. So that's where we're sitting at right now. Not too bad. I'm still seven meals a day um our car like i said earlier cardio five sometimes six times a week just a solid state 35 to 45 minutes nothing too crazy but the goal is to you know keep a lean off season try to stay stay in pretty decent shape um of course i'm in physique so you know you want to add more lats get wider rounder delts i mean it's all about getting wide and uh, keeping the waist tiny. So, you know, of course, I'm gonna be way smaller than this by, <laughs> by the time it's uh, stage time, but uh, this is not a bad place to sit. Not a bad place at all, you know. I'll take that. I do a quick physique update because I realize I haven't actually done a physique update in quite a long time. And people are asking me, like, Jerry, what's your physique look like? It looks the same. <laughs> okay, that's been the goal. The goal is not to get any bigger, not any smaller. So you can see I'm still sitting at the same same body weight of 198, which is where I was, I don't know, a month ago, whatever it was. I went down a little bit lighter while I was uh, off the uh, TRT. So the idea is to maintain where I'm at now, but let's fix this fucking camera angle to make that shit fucking square. And I think that what I'm going to do is, I talked about this on Instagram, I think I'm going to do a 10 week, a 10 week, Jesus Christ, not 10, not 10 weeks, a 10 pound lean mass phase where I would fill up my frame a little bit more, still keep me under that 220, but I've never gone to 210 and then maintain that. I've always gone to 210 and right through it on my way to 
225, 250, 270, whatever. I've never really maintained it. So now that I know I can maintain 198, which has been you know, an interesting experience. I'm not, I don't feel bad at this, but I do feel I can go up to 210 and still not have breathing problems and you know, my blood work will still be fine, stuff like that. So I'm going to uh, embark on that soon. I'm not really sure when exactly that's going to happen, but it's going to be very soon. So I'm going to just basically try to control the macros, control the training. I am going to go back to, um, I'm already going back to heavier training, which I know like my body doesn't want to stay this way. It actually wants to be bigger, but I'm enforcing it to stay this size. And every lift has gone up in the gym. I mean, every single lift has gone like, it's gone up like 300% in the gym in the last like fucking month. Literally from being back on the TRT, giving my body a break, training with the lighter weights for a month. All that stuff came into play to actually give me um, a kind of a, a good place where I'm sitting where if I actually started increasing the weights like I am now and started increasing the protein, amino acids and stuff, my body's going to grow up. Like it's regaining muscle that it's lost in the past. So I'm like, could I do that and then say, okay, as it approaches 208, 209, 210, stop. Can I stop it right there and control it? You know, to me, it's all about control. If I have control over my body, then I have control over my body for the rest of my life. And if I know how to control it, I have those skills to constantly use. If I want to be bigger, if I want to be smaller, a friend of mine, Richard Siegelman, is actually an actor. Now he's been on um, House of Cards and a few other things. And he wants to kind of get me in with his agent to do stuff, to be able to fluctuate for roles, to be bigger and smaller and maintain them for months at a time is to my advantage because not everybody who does acting can do that. Now, it doesn't have to be a big part. It could be a little side part, but I'll get that side part as opposed to someone else if I can bring that look that they need and the other person can't, you know what I mean? So again, it's something new that I'm moving on to my life, a new phase in my life. And um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. So that 10 pound lean mass phase, which should only take me about a month to do, realistically only about a month to get there, um, is gonna be happening soon. Uh, maybe I'll chronicle that if you guys are interested. If not, fuck it, I won't. So I definitely got to uh, get my shit together and get the fuck out of here. Let's pack our meals for the gym. And then, um, yeah, we'll be on our way. And now we're gonna set everything up to get the food ready. So I'm gonna bring my ISO bag. This is the one I usually use when I'm traveling for my clients. And um, make sure we get an ice pack in there, a new ice pack. All right. And we're going to have today, I think, all right, this is sweet chili, sweet chili lime chicken, which I really like this one. This one's from like last week or two weeks ago, but I freeze them. If there's something I really like, I'll save them. I'm like a little kid. I'll save them. I'll be like, oh, I'll take this and I'll have it for like two weeks from now. Like I save some of the pancakes. I freeze a lot of the food to make sure that um, if I really like it, I'll, I'll have it. So that's one meal. And the one other meal I'm going to bring with me is... Oh, real food. So I actually keep the container and I buy the new jugs of real food and I dump them in the container. It's easier to get it out of there than it is to take it out of the other containers. And I will take, so that with, um, so I'll take one scoop of this and then two scoops of, where is this? This new protein powder, which is, well, I don't know if it's new, but anyways, it's triple fucking chocolate biscuit. Really, it's like triple chocolate heaven. So basically, it tastes like chocolate, but there's little chunks of chocolate chips in there. So as you're drinking it, you're like, the first time I drank, I was like, what the fuck? I was chewing. I was like, what the fuck is this? Then I'm like, holy shit, it's chocolate chips. It's so good. It's absolutely my favorite now. I don't know if it's Erin's favorite. She likes cookies and cream peanut butter, but this is definitely where I'm sitting at now. So I'll take one shake with me, that meal. I had the, uh, the other meal already. So that's three meals. Then I'll eat when I get home. That's four meals. I'll eat later on. That's five meals. So I'll have roughly five meals today, um, all in all. And yeah, so like that's post workout. And I get my shake, my amino acids directly after my workout. See, it's hard because you got when you're taking off for the day, you have to do this every day. You have to get up and make sure you have all the shit you need before you leave the house, which I'm sure many of you do. Um, but if you forget something, you got to be able to adapt on the go and, and do your shit. So. All right, let's get all this shit packed up and then we're on our way. I'm gonna leave the TV on for Brady because he likes to listen to the TV. This is all my shit I gotta take. Usually I take, this is like my, not my lunchbox, but my my cooler, or whatever you wanna call it. Then my backpack, which is actually the Mike Dolce backpack that he sent me, the Dolce, that's a tactical backpack that, you know, my laptop, everything's in here. So, then we'll bring the stand so we'll actually film the video itself on the stand. So let's get the fuck out of here. Man, so the 
But anyway, we're weighing out this next meal. So we got eight ounces of ground turkey and half a cup of canola going in there cooked. And then we're doing one cup of broccoli. That'll be the meal following, you know, maybe a couple hours after my post workout meal. I try to eat, me, I try to eat every two to three hours. Um, if I'm if I'm not starving in two hours, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But if I'm not starving in two hours, you know, three hours is fine. Gives my time a little bit more time. Gives my body a little bit more time to adjust. Here we are right here. Eight ounces of ground turkey. Let's have a cup of canola, quinoa, whatever. I don't know how to say it. And one cup of broccoli. Mm. No. <laughs> because of meal prepping dishes, man, I can. It's either it's either you can find the, the dish and you can't find the lid, or you find the lid and you can't find the dish. Fuck it. So, here we go. Next two meals, right on point. So getting ready to rock. Put the rest of this back in the fridge. Do my dishes when I get home. This right, I mean, I'm like a diet soda fiend or whatever, or crystal light, but fuck, when I saw this in the fucking store, whoo, cherry sprite zero. I thought it was like some some holiday, it has to be some holiday shit. I've never seen it, but I was like, fuck it, I want it. I want it now. You know what I'm saying? So diet soda is a treat to me. I don't know. I don't I don't eat or have many sweets. When I when I want some sweets, I want it to be there. Um, but for the most part, a diet soda some crystal light fuck man some sugarless gum i don't give a shit <laughs> sometimes can just take the edge off so i just do it like that the rest of the time i'm just eating my meals i'm cool with it every now and again i'm not gonna fucking front man every now and again you what you you uh you wanna have a little snack or whatever i mean i have been known to have a donut or two i'm not i'm i'm not exempt <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> For the most part, that's how I like to do things. Quick and easy. Painless. People say they don't have no time to make meals. That's bullshit. You just saw me make two fucking meals. You just saw me weigh out two fucking meals in less than 10 minutes. So, it, it can happen. It's like, you just gotta want it. You know what I'm saying? And right now, I'm hungry. I want it. Going down just a little bit. All right, man, let's get ready to rock. All right, so here we go. Get ready to get in the car. Headed out to uh, Team Eck and Road. All packed up. Full. And then, uh, gym. Gym bag, everything's ready to go. Let me get this workout on. It's gonna be some good shit, y'all. Hope y'all tuning in today. It's gonna be crazy. When you look back on it, you're gonna be like, damn, that shit was ass. That shit was badass. <laughs> crazy. And then what I'll do right now on my way to the gym, I'm actually going to eat a meal there. I've decided just to eat the meal at the gym. I'll leave it a little bit early. And what I'll do now is I'll actually film Instagram Live. What's up, guys? You guys are live on the vlog. <laughs> I'll film Instagram Live on the way to the workout and talk to some more of the viewers like that. And this actually, there's my wife. Look. Hang on. Let me see if I can... 
zoom in on her. She's got a pretty good zoom. Wave door, guys. <laughs> All right, we got to the gym a little bit early. We're gonna have this final meal. It's um, Raven's Carolina Barbecue by Nutritional Solutions. It's beef and um, quinoa and some corn. We'll plug this down. Take our intracell and gorilla pumps. And it's time. All right, y'all. So here we go. Just pulling up to the gym. Looks like Jerry's already here. So we can go get it started. <clears throat> Should be a good workout. Sun's out today, but don't let it fool you. This is like getting sick weather. I'm from LA. I hate being cold. No, it's hot. <laughs> Team Elk and Road. I don't know if you can see it. Time to go to work.